Yeah, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another Boombox Hockey Break today. Guys, we're going to do the Boombox. That's right, the Boombox. For the month of November, this will be the new November uh, Boombox. Comes in at a price point of $59.99 uh, plus shipping um, and, and stuff. So, you know, you're looking at like $65 to $70, I think, roughly. This is normally how these go on all in the end. Um, a really quick update, guys, before we get into this. I've been breaking the Boombox for quite some time on here. Um, a lot of you guys, if you haven't seen, check out my October version of the Boombox. Um, not my version of it, but the uh, the October Boombox hockey hockey version that is uh, from the actual Boombox. Uh, really kind of crappy pack lineup, just not much value to it and stuff. I know a lot of you guys commented and stuff that the value was just not there and that was just terrible and stuff. And I agree with you for sure. I reached out to Brock that runs the Boombox. I told him... My displeasure as well as the viewer's displeasure and stuff to see what he had to say about it. Um, he did reply, and he told me that he thought he had a pretty good value initially going into there. However, upon his review of the the product lineup, I guess, for the month of October, um, he bought a lot of these, I guess, packs and stuff like that and boxes at um, a much higher price, and apparently now they're much cheaper. He gave me an example. He said that, for example, the... There was a pack of ice in there. I think 1920 ice uh, it was. Um, but anyway, he paid $118 per five packs, which came out to $23.60 a pack for ice. Uh, he checked uh, when I sent him that email, um, and he said now those same packs he can get for $76 for uh, five packs, which comes out to $15.20 a pack. So essentially a loss of $8 a pack now that they're on sale for. He said that's an example of it. So most of those packs, he said uh, he paid much higher pricing uh, early on, I guess, when he bought them. And now they have devalued quite a bit. Um, it is what it is, guys. I mean, I still didn't really like many of the other packs that were in there. It was like MVP um, and just kind of OPG, not the Platinum or anything, just OPG and stuff. It was very heavy with those. Um, but it is what it is, guys. We'll see what the month of November brings. Hopefully he did a little turnaround here. I'm going to stick with the Boombox for now and see... Uh, if we can do some rebound action, but I did, I did want to let you guys know that um, for anybody that's interested in stuff. And I will tell you guys, if you buy a November boombox for some reason, and it's not just mine, uh, this baffled me uh, when I looked at this. Because I always pre-cut kind of the tape and stuff that's on these. Um, and then I just kind of like give it a little pull just to make sure it's loosened up so I don't have to struggle on camera. Well, this one is like concrete. doesn't want to come out. I've watched other openings of November boomboxes already, and people have been just tearing their complete boomboxes apart trying to open them up and i finally realized what the issue is so for some reason i don't know why how, whoever uses for production or however he does these the stamping of the boom box is actually on the upside down part of the box this month so if you turn it upside down you guys get a boom box flip it this way to the bottom and if you do that there is how you actually open the box without destroying it so uh, i never saw that happen before but that definitely is happening this month for some reason um and a lot of people are just destroying these card, uh, you know, holding boxes that you can just use after. Because I know I always reuse these. I have quite a bit of cards and stuff to store. So let me just dump these packing peanuts out of here. Um, so I always save those and redo those and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, guys, let's pull out the pack, see what we get for this month. Set the stack aside there. You guys can see in here, here's our, unfortunately, screwed on. They're still in screwed on, um, screwed on one touches right now because they're on a shortage of magnetic ones and stuff. Hopefully those are back in December, I believe. But we got another one of these screwed on ones. It's 120 point, it looked like. The literature for this month's boombox looks like this. There's not much to it other than their social media and telling you uh, kind of the packs. They're guaranteed. Uh, 1617 SPA. Uh, 1516 Series 2, 1920 OPG, and 2021 MVP. So the last two packs I could care less about for the most part. Um, we'll talk about these other packs, but let's see what we got here as far as the pack lineup goes. So one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven packs. So let's take a quick look. We got a hobby pack, a 1920 OPG Platinum. That is a bonus pack. There's our guaranteed 1617 SPA. Our 1516 Series 1. There you go, not a Series 2, so that's good. And that's a hobby pack, so you guys know who we're looking for in that one for sure. 1920 Series 1 Hobby Pack, that's decent, that's also an unannounced pack, 2021 MVP, it's a Hobby Pack, but you know, whatever, uh, I see more Hobby here, unfortunately, 1920 MVP Hobby Pack, and then we got a 1920 uh, Series 2 Hobby Pack, also unannounced, 
So the one thing I will point out, I noticed uh, we do not have a 1920 OPG hobby pack. Um, the only thing we have that kind of remotely matches that is this MVP, which, you know, I don't know how I feel about that, really. I'm not a big fan of MVP or OPG, really, so whatever, I'm fine with it. Um, so basically, the kind of bonus packs, and clearly there's a clerical error. I will take Series 1 over Series 2 for sure in 15-16. So those are probably the guaranteed packs and kind of the extra packs that they thought they were throwing in is the 1920 Series 1, Series 2, and 1920 Platinum, which uh, those are cool. You know, definitely fine with me for those throw-ins. We'll save the SPA for the end, as well as 15-16. We'll do those MVPs right off the bat. Um, I guess we'll just do, let's do 2021 first. Um, so I will tell you guys real quick, I know this isn't the pack, it's going to be the last pack, but that 16-17 SPA, you're like, oh, all right, sweet, the Austin Matthews and all that stuff like that. Well, I'm pretty positive the Austin Matthews, unfortunately, uh, in 16-17 SPA is a redemption, which is now absolutely expired. So that would suck if we actually got the Austin Matthews uh, future watch in SPA. Um, but yeah, we'll see, guys, we'll see. Uh, so Mike Smith. Sebastian Ajo, uh, Brock Nelson, Anders Lee, and we got a MVP, Elias Pedersen, Green Parallel. I guess that's probably going to be an SP, probably 200-something. Yeah, and it is 211, so that's an SP. They put them in a different color this year, so they're easier to tell from the others. And we got Bob, Tom, yeah, that guy, I'm not going to say it, and Anthony Duclair. Uh, so there you go, nothing insane there. An SP is our insert in that one. 1920 MVP is up next. Let's see what we have in here. I don't expect too much out of this. Uh, all right. Uh, Vander Kane. Jumping Jack Eichel. Patty Hornquist. Uh, Ryan Dezingle, and that's a puzzle piece. You guys can see by the numbering on the front and the puzzle on the back. Uh, who do you think it is, guys? Who do you think it is? We got a uh, Stanley Cup edition here. Matthias Ekholm. Uh, kind of throwback there. That's a facsimile auto there. That kind of silver scriptish stuff. Josh Morrissey, Brady Kachuk, and Linus Allmark finish us off in that pack. So let's see. We're saving that for the end. Let's do let's do series one, series two. Flagship stuff here, 1920. Look for some of the big rookies in these for sure. Series one's gonna have the uh, the Hughes brothers, Quinn and Jack. Um some other great ones in there for sure. Victor Olofsson is one of my PC guys that um, I'm absolutely trying to collect. I think he's going to be doing some big things again here in the coming future. But Duncan Keith starts us off. we got Jeff uh, Petrie, that guy. Uh, and a generation next, uh, Jacob Verona. That is a hobby exclusive subset there. Nick Ritchie. Uh, checklist, uh, Johnny Hockey and Austin Matthews. Tori Krug and Kyle Clifford. So no young guns there, unfortunately. We'll open up the Series 2, hopefully pull nice young guns out of here. There's some good ones in here, obviously highlighted by the uh, Kale McCarr, but uh, you can also get, you know, Kirby Dock and quite a few other pretty decent ones in here. Uh, let's just hope for a, uh, a young guns. So we start with Antoine Stra uh, Strahlman, Mark Edward Vlasic, uh, Jacob Slavin. we got a canvas, no young guns, uh, Kevin Hayes, canvas of Kevin Hayes, Nick Schmaltz, Miko Koivu, Robbie Fabry, and Alec Martinez. So again, nothing insane there. Let's do our 1920 OPG Platinum Hobby Pack. You get 24 of these per hobby box. One guaranteed auto. Sometimes you get two. So let's see if we get lucky enough to get uh, the auto or anything. But let's look for at least a big rookie maybe or a nice one of those parallel cards. And then there we go. There's a nice rookie star. So off a marquee rookie of Dominic Kubelik. Not too shabby. You got Patrice Bergeron behind him. And then a Nico Sturm. Uh, that'll be a rainbow uh, rookie. That's not numbered or anything like that, but it is rainbow, as you guys can see right there. And then we got Tyler Sagan to finish us off in that pack. And it's very hard to keep the glare down on those cards. That's why I kind of tilled that for you guys, for your benefit. So let's do the 15-16 Series 1 Hobby Pack. You guys know we're looking for the McDavid Young Guns in here. It's like a needle in a haystack, but it can be done. I've seen it pulled out of just you know a single pack and certain breaks and stuff like that, but it's going to take quite a bit of luck with the hockey gods to make that happen, but you never know. So Franz Nielsen starts us off. Uh, oh, sorry, Nathan uh, Below. I don't know why that name is throwing me for some reason right now. Ryan gets left, and we got a. It's going to be a canvas, guys. Seth Jones, and it is. Oh, nice, very nice. I will take it, guys. Hit of the break for me for sure right now. Jared McCann, Young Guns Canvas. Um, definitely going right to the PC. Uh, I am from the Pittsburgh area and a definite Pens fan through and through. 
So there you go, our third line center, at least for right now, Jared McCann. Very nice Young Guns canvas. I like that. Definitely do not have it. Now we'll go in the PC. Marcus Felina and Tyler Sagan. So not too bad, not too bad. Last pack, guys. Here we go, the 1617 SPA. Um, like I said, we don't want the Austin Matthews, in all honesty, because uh, it's a redemption in here. We don't want any redemptions. I'd like a future watch. That would definitely be nice, uh, preferably an auto. Um, and actually, I believe in here, for me at least, the, the card I'd probably like if I had to pick anything, um, the Jake Gensel Young Guns update is found in here. So Shake and Bake Gensel, uh, for the old PC, you pull that out of 1617 SPA. That is not found in the flagship stuff, Series 1 or Series 2. So that would be the, probably the cool pull for me, um, but we'll see. So Mikel Bodker, uh, Corey Schneider, we have a... Not sure what the heck the insert is going to be. Brandon saw it. It's kind of different looking, that's for sure. Aaron Eckblad, Giant Decoy, and our insert. Ah, it looks like it's a moment. Yeah, there you go. Hey, still at least. For who it is, that's pretty cool. It's Connor McDavid. That'll be a second-year card there, obviously. But on authentic moments, Connor McDavid. Not too bad. Uh, talking about tallying his first NHL hat trick. So there you go, guys. Probably the two big hits for me, at least. Kind of that McDavid. I'll just actually keep that there. And then the overall hit, I'd say, at least for me, that Jared McCann. Young Guns Canvas. Pretty cool card. Um, so there you guys go. That is the month of November's Hockey Boombox. Again, price point of $59.99 plus shipping and stuff like that. I'll put the links in the description for the Boombox. So you guys can check that out if you want one or anything like that. That uh, will be there as well as my email address and mailing address. If you guys need to reach out to me for anything, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys for sure. And actually, you know what, guys? I will ask you guys a favor here as I was closing up the video. I, I, I have a project I'm working on, um, and I would really appreciate any help that anybody can give me. Um, it's not the easiest, but I am working on a nice, nice project for this channel. I mean, I, I was going to kind of keep it a secret and surprise you guys with it, but... Really, I'll just tell you about it. Um, so in a nutshell, and I'll try not to drag this out, but in a nutshell, what I want to do is obtain a hockey pack, a sealed upper deck hockey pack of the flagship stuff, that is. Uh, so whether it's Series 1, Series 2, or the older stuff that's uh, low series, high series kind of thing. Um, I am trying to get my hands on a pack of every single upper deck hockey product. Uh, one pack from every year, starting with 1990, 91, you know, Series 1, Low Series, however you want to define it, their Premier Edition, all the way up through present date, which would be 1920, uh, Series 2, um, kind of what we just opened right there. And the idea is I am going to do a, uh, a whole week here of a hockey break. I'm going to break one pack of each and every year, High Series, Low Series, Series 1, Series 2, from the entire existence of Upper Deck, as far as hockey goes, up through present date, and the idea is to count down the uh, Series 1, 2021 Series 1 release uh, that's coming up, and we'll culminate this with a hobby box break of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down over probably three videos. I'll do, you know, 1990 to 1999 is going to be a video. Uh, 2000 through 2009 will be a video, and then 2010 through present date will be the third video. Um, and again, it'll be one pack uh, from every type, so we can just stroll through time. And the reason I'm mentioning this to you guys early is I've been obtaining these packs. I have about 50 packs already. I still need a few more packs. If anybody can help me out, um, and I'm willing to pay for it, that's fine. I, I'm having a, a hard time obtaining some of these packs. Uh, if I have to do this, these videos uh, without some of these packs, I guess I will, but I'd rather get every single pack. Um, but some of these are just absolutely impossible to find. Can't find on me. eBay, sports stores, you know, anything like that. I actually even reached out to Upper Deck, heard back from them today. Um, and they do not have any of these packs available, even at their warehouses or anything like that in stock. So, uh, you know, they wish me luck, but they, they are not able to help me either. So very quickly, guys, the only packs that I'm looking for, I could use a little bit of help on still, um, a 94, 95 series one pack, 95, 96 series one, 96, 97 series one, um, 2000, 2001 series two, 2001, 2002 series one. 2002, 2003 Series 1, 2003, 2004 Series 1, and that will do it, guys, because I have every other pack secured. I have, uh, I think, like I said, a little over 50 packs it comes out to. I have every last pack secured except for those few packs, 
which I am absolutely having a hard time trying to come across those. So anybody that can help out with that, I know this was long-winded, but I think this is going to make for a really cool series. I think you guys will really enjoy this. Um, please reach out to me. Uh, again, my email is in the description below. Uh, any help I can get with those packs would be appreciated. And like I said, I have no problem paying you if you have those packs. You know, just reach out to me and stuff like that. I would appreciate any help I can get from you guys. Because again, this will benefit you guys as well. Because I'm going to make these cool videos here in the very near future once I can hopefully secure the rest of these packs. Uh, but that being said, guys, I appreciate you. Any help that you can give me. Please have a great day, a great night, wherever y'all are at. And we will see you next time.